Reuters. And finally, the best of Reuters, oddly enough, this week. From the Reuters studio in Times Square, I'm Chad Rubel. First, we go to Mexico for the World Cliff Diving Championships. Divers plunged over 110 feet into the sea at over 40 miles an hour. Check out the crazy dive cam. Let me put it this way. This is not the time to bust out your cannonball. And a belly flop is out of the question. Orangutans at the San Diego Zoo got in touch with their artistic side. Call them orangogans. Though they mostly monkeyed around with the brushes and ate their materials, some of the paint actually ended up on the paper. These eight amazing works of art will be auctioned to raise money for their wild counterparts. In other weird art news, a geneticist and a designer are making artwork out of DNA. Just swab your cheek with their kit and DNA art will send you back a portrait of your DNA to hang over your mantle or a crystal sculpture for your coffee table. Apparently, DNA is beautiful, even from ugly people. Next, in New York, artists use food cans for their sculptures. This one is called Hunger Bugs Me. This is a trocan horse. There was shuttle fuel to end hunger and make hunger a myth. An Amobius strip made entirely of canned salmon and tuna. All it takes is a little bit of time and a can-do attitude. <laughs> and that was can laughter. <laughs> K. Sudakar is at it again with one of his crazy cars. Last summer, we told you about the soccer ball car. Now he's rolling out a basketball car. I wonder if he just repainted the soccer ball car. Nah, Sudakar wouldn't do that. What's next, Sudakar? We'll be watching and waiting. And finally on and finally, a man who's made a living off his resemblance to a reclusive world leader. Guess which one? No, that's not North Korean leader Kim Jong-il. That's look-alike Kim Young-sik. With cool glasses and a sick wardrobe to boot, this Kim looks a lot like this Kim. Wait, which Kim is that? Hmm, we might need six party talks to resolve that issue. For more on these and other stories, visit us at Reuters.com. While you're there, be sure to check out Bob Basler's Oddly Enough blog. See you next time.